Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel English for All Reasons Good based on the CBSE guidelines and syllabus. This video is part 2 of the analytical paragraph based on a bar chart. The question that we have to analyze is the bar chart below shows the distribution of vehicles by origin and type. Summarize the information in the chart by selecting and reporting the main features. Make comparisons where relevant. Now if you haven't watched my first video, you won't be able to understand why straight away I have jumped to the question. Because the first video, it is about the basics of analytical paragraph with a mnemonic. So if you haven't watched, kindly go and watch it first. Now here you can see the graph and we have to summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and we have to find out and make comparisons also. Now let's move on to the question. So here, this is the graph. On the x-axis, we have the hybrid, SUV, sedan, sports, truck, wagon. These are the categories and the origin. And on the y-axis, we have the frequency. Now, before we start, so we have to collect all the information provided in the graph. And to help you with this, we will use the mnemonic. So with the use of mnemonic, you won't forget what points are to be included. So the mnemonic goes, Keep social distance and prevent grouping to gain more company. So now the first letter of every word, it stands for a question. So let's move on to the questions. K stands for kind. It means what kind of data is being shown. So this I've already discussed. X is just showing us type and origin of the vehicles and Y axis, it is showing us the frequency. Now let's understand first frequency. A bar chart can show all possible values of the variable with either the frequency or relative frequency. Now frequency, it is the count and relative frequency is the percentage. Now here it is frequency, that means it is the count. So out of 100, whatever is the number. So we should know actually how to read the graph. Now the next letter S it stands for similarity. So the question is, are there any groups that share similarities? So we have to see the graph and find out any similarities. So the first similarity that we can see here is that Asia and the USA, they are similar in case of SUV distribution. So here you can see that. Then sedan is very popular in Asia, Europe and the USA. So again, this is very predominant. And a wagon, almost similar in distribution in Asia and Europe. So here, the last one, this is the wagon, and it is almost similar. Now the next letter we have D, and D stands for differences. Now after similarities, we have to find out differences. So are there any large differences between groups? So of course there is frequency of sedan as compared to other vehicles is predominantly high. So this is a difference, a huge difference here. P stands for parts. This is very important. How can I break it into two parts? Because you have to make two paragraphs. It means you should have information for two paragraphs. What will you write in the first one and what will you write in the second one? Now here I have chosen for the first paragraph group of four. SUV, sedan, sports and wagon. And for the second paragraph, I have chosen group of two, hybrid and truck. Now there's a logic why I have done so. Now if you can see SUV, sedan, then sports and the wagon. So all these types of vehicles, they are popular in Asia, Europe, as well as USA. Whereas hybrid, it is only in Asia and the truck, it is only in Asia and USA. So therefore, I have separated them. So like this, you have to look for a logic so that it becomes easier for you to identify points and to write about that. Now the next one, differences I've already done. Now, yes, the general trend. Now the next G, it stands for general trend. Now, is there any general trend? If yes, what is it? So you have to look at the graph and you have to find out if something is conspicuous. So popularity of sedan. So very, very clear popularity of sedan and least favored is the hybrid. 
then Europeans they do not prefer truck as I just discussed with you. So these this is the general trend. Next T stands for time period. So is there any time period shown? Now in this graph there is no time period shown. There are no years marked. So we don't have any time period. Now next G it stands for groups. So are there more than one group? So of course we have more than one group. We have Asia, Europe and the USA. These are the parts of the world. And we have the categories of vehicles, hybrid, SUV, sedan, sports, truck and wagon. So these are the groups that are there in the graph. Next M stands for measurements, units of measurements. So what are the units of measurement here? Now here we are talking about frequency. So frequency here is given in count or number out of 100. And the last C, it is change over time. So does it show change over time? Since time period is not mentioned, so there is no change over time. Now, once we have answered all these questions, let us jot them down together so that we have a rough draft ready. So, hybrid is least popular. Demand doesn't exist in Europe and the USA. Asia and the USA, they are similar in case of SUV distribution. Sedan is very popular in Asia, Europe and the USA. Wagon is almost similar in distribution in Asia and Europe. Frequency of sedan as compared to other vehicles is very high. Two parts, so I've already mentioned those two parts. There's no time period and units of measurement, it is number. So we have this rough framework for our analytical writing. Now, with the help of this, we will be developing a paragraph. Now it is going to be very, very easy. So here's the question once again. And first we have to write the introduction. The statement from the question in your own words with any additional information, if any. So introduction is just you have to write the same statement that is given in the question but in your own words. You have to paraphrase it. You have to change the words without changing the meaning. And if there is any other additional information in the graph that is not in the question, you have to add that. Now let's see here how to do it. Now the statement in the question says, the bar chart below shows the distribution of the vehicles by origin and type. Now, how we have written the introduction, the bar chart illustrates the number of vehicles out of 100 by origin and type in Asia, Europe and the USA. Now, let's analyze it. The bar chart illustrates. So here it is. The bar chart below shows. So I have changed this word shows to illustrates. It is, says distribution of vehicles and I have changed it into the number of vehicles out of 100. So by origin and type, this is the uh, category, so I cannot change that. So by origin and type, here, the it is not given that where in Asia, Europe and USA. So I have added that information. So this becomes your introductory statement. I hope it is clear. Very easy. You just have to paraphrase it and look for some additional information and write it. You are not to write any data in this. So here you can see that along with the information given in the question, we have added additional information to complete it. So this is our introduction. Now we move on to the body paragraphs. So now how to divide the given chart into two pieces of information. I've already told you para one, I'll be writing about these four and para two, I'll be writing about hybrid and truck. So I've also given you the logic why I have made this division. So para one. It is quite clear from the chart that sedan is most popular vehicle amongst all with the highest number of about 90 on 100 in Asia. So the very prominent thing we are talking about that first. So it is quite clear from the chart that sedan is the most popular vehicle amongst amongst all with the highest number of about 90 on 100 in Asia. Its preference is slightly less around 85 on 100 among the Americans, but still quite high than the Europeans at approximately 78 out of 100. Further, it is noticed that in Asia and the USA, people show similar bent 
for SUVs as 25 people favored it out of 100 in both the cases. Now here, since we do not know the exact number, we have to write the words like approximately around or about. Now around 23 Europeans out of 100 like sporty vehicles as compared to about 18 Asians and 10 Americans. So you look at this sports thing. So this red one is for Europe. So Europeans, they like more sports vehicles. So that is what I have written. We have written that around 23 Europeans out of 100 like sporty vehicles as compared to about 18 Asians and 10 Americans. So you can see the USA, that is the lowest in sports. The Asians and the Europeans share almost identical inclination towards wagon. Nearly 15 and 16 vehicles over 100 respectively. So here you can see a very slight difference. So that is why I've taken 15 and 16 respectively. And the USA lags behind them quite a bit with close to 9 vehicles per 100. So USA, it is lagging behind them. So this completes our first paragraph. So you have seen that we have to read the information, take the information that we have jotted down, and then we have to make comparisons and write the paragraph. Now para 2. So since para 2 has only 2 uh, in the group, so it is a shorter one. So the chart predominantly features that Europe and the USA have no disposition for hybrid vehicles. So here we have, it's, it's empty here. So they have no disposition for hybrid vehicles. Even the Asians, they do not show much liking for it as its number is only 5 on 100. In the last category of truck, the USA has almost double the number of vehicles than Asia. That is 18 and 9 out of 100 respectively with the Europeans again missing out on this. So here in the truck category, again, there are no Europeans. So this completes the second paragraph. Now after this, we have to write the conclusion. So conclusion is summing up of all what is there in the graph. So on the whole, it can be observed that sedan rules in these three parts of the world, whereas other categories fall almost below average. Now, if you can see the graph for the sedan and the graph of the other, other categories, they are below the half of it. So they are below average. So that is why I've written that the other cap categories, they fall almost below average. So this is the overall, on the whole, what the graph shows. So like this, we have to write the paragraph. If we write it logically, step by step, then it is not at all a difficult thing. Now let us have it a look at it as a whole. So this is our complete paragraph. So a bar chart illustrates the number of vehicles out of 100 by origin and type in Asia, Europe and the USA. Now the words that are in blue, they are actually the vocabulary, the vocabulary that is required for writing analytical paragraphs. I'll be discussing proper vocabulary in my next video because again, this is going to be long, but you can have a look at these blue words because they are showing you how you have to choose your words for making comparisons or for giving key points. And you have to, very, very important, you have to make sure that you are not repeating your words. So first paragraph, I'm starting with, it is quite clear. And look at the second one, how I'm starting that. The chart predominantly features. So these are the points that you have to take care, for, care of. So sedan is the most popular vehicle amongst all with the highest number of about 90 on 100 in Asia. Its preference is slightly less. So look at this comparison thing. It is slightly less, around 85 on 100 among the Americans, but still quite high than the Europeans at approximately 78 on 100. Further, it is noticed. So now again, when you are making another point, so further, it is noted that in Asia and the USA, people show similar bent. So it is similarity. So rather than writing simply the word similar or similarity, they show similar bent for SUVs as 25 people favored it out of 100 in both the cases. So again and again, I'm not using the word popular or preference. So here I've used preference. Here I'm using favored. And in the first line, I've used popular. So 
you have to take care of these things. Now, around 23 Europeans out of 100 like sporty vehicles as compared to about 18 Asians and 10 Americans. The Asians and the Europeans share almost identical inclination. Now, again, for similar, now I have used they show or share almost identical inclination towards wagon, nearly 15 and 16 vehicles over 100 respectively. And the USA lags behind them quite a bit with close to nine vehicles per 100. The chart predominantly features that Europe and the USA have no disposition for hybrid vehicles. Even the Asians do not show much liking. Now here, no disposition and do not show much liking. So again, different vocabulary has been used for it as its number is only 5100. In the last category of truck, the USA has almost double the number of vehicles than Asia, that is 18 and 9 out of 100 respectively, with the Europeans again missing out on this. On the whole, it is observed that sedan rules in these three parts of the world, whereas other categories fall almost below average. So this is the whole paragraph and if it is written in a systematic way, there will be no problem in writing it. Now in the next video, I will be sharing and we will be learning together the pie chart and the line graph and the vocabulary of each. So keep watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Happy watching.